Good day, everybody. Today's video, this is something that's been going on for a while, and I finally tracked it down. First time it happened in the wintertime after big snow melt. I come inside my Jeep. Carpets are soaked. I cleaned it up a little while ago, and I went on vacation. I can't see if those ones are wet or not. I have to get the Jeep parked right against the garage. Like I said, I was on vacation in Yukon. We got some heavy rain. We get heavy rain, both sides of the carpet gets soaked. So I'm gonna have to take this off because there's a drain underneath all this. This is my first project since getting back from the Yukon. This time the passenger side's dry because when I had the Jeep parked by the garage, it was at an angle towards the driver's side. Saw the water that would have went in that vent, went down to the driver's side. So I'm just gonna swap Jeeps around so we can work on that. And then next set of days off, I gotta rip the water pump out of this because the water pump's starting to leak. TJ's inside, I'm gonna suck up the carpet, but I gotta run the Cabela's first because there's a bunch of ammo and some sights on sale I'm gonna pick up. So on this strip, it's heading to Cabela's. This is where usually all the van life people hang out. Van life people, homeless people living out of their vehicles, I guess you wanna call it. And there's a few here. Not sure why this spot was chosen. It's not very exciting. There was a person living out of the parking lot in Cabela's. Let's see if they're still there. They were there before I went on my trip to the Yukon. Yeah, fuck, he's still there. Been there for like a month now. In case anybody's wondering, the dash and matching stereo are still awesome. There we are, Cabela's. Canada Day, a couple days. Let's go buy a bunch of ammo. All right, that was a few dollars. I am stocked up for now. All right, let's get this started. It's not something looking forward to. One day back from vacation, I gotta take care of it. First time was coincidental, and now this time, well, third time, it happened before I went on vacation. If we don't tackle this problem now, it's going to continue to be a problem and it's only going to get worse, including rotten floors. So on the Jeep TJ, as I mentioned just before, probably 90% of the problem is going to be right in here. I'm going to show you once we do that. Another issue that is common with these TJs is that the weather stripping here around the door gets old and once that does it leaks in water and water will leak down here and onto the floor now being the case jeep is parked at an angle when i went on vacation only the driver's side floor is wet my most logical guess right here let's get this carpet cleaner suck up as much moisture as we possibly can Shit. Yeah, they sure don't make things like they used to. Let's see if I can fix this. The shit show never ends around here. It's got the trigger part. Get this little sharp clamp off. And then pull this out. And then figure out how are we gonna deal with this? So this thing, ugh, looks like it's actually just twisted in. 
think this might work. It's got some reverse thread action. Oh, that might hold. That's where the trigger goes. All right. Problem is this hose over time, this is a few years old, gets so stiff that it gets brittle. It comes into situations like this. Good old power fish to the rescue. First time using those screwdrivers I picked up before my big trip to the Yukon. They're actually very comfortable. Let's try this again. See if we can dry up the carpet. Sucked up so much crap, I just want to flush it out. There, that cleaned her up. Yeah. Dirty juke water. Okay. We're good there. In this day and age, you need to start being resourcefulness. You got to look at the situation, put your best effort to get her back up and going. This is just one of those examples. Most people probably would have just chucked it instead of trying to figure out something or did something ghetto like tape it up that would not have worked at all. Would have used like half a roll of tape and would have been a disaster. Moving forward, next job, we're going to pull the wipers off. And then there's a bunch of bolts across the top. And then there's one in the middle there you can't forget and some on the other side. We're going to use the good old power fist screwdriver and on your wiper you want to pull it out like that so that lever's out and once that lever's out you should be able just to pull it out just as such. If you notice over time as well that your wipers aren't sticking to the windows as good as they used to, don't bother buying the helper springs. Just go off Amazon or Rock Auto and buy a whole new wiper arm assembly. You'll thank me later for doing that. Start pulling all these screws out. They're all just self tapping, so you gotta be very careful with them and then do a big stretch. Then we get that one out and then go to the other side. We're moving just these ones. Does not give you access to take it out yet. We have some gatekeepers in there that are hidden behind the rubber. I can open up this and flip the hood up. So there is only two more. If you lift back the foam there. You can see it, there's none in the middle, along the sides. I just wrapped my screwdriver down beside, so there's only those ones. It's a two-handed job when you're trying to hold the camera. There we go. And you're gonna realize that. There's long ones and the short ones, short ones in the front, short ones in the middle. Might want to use some trim tools. Nope, there's none in the middle. Just get this out of there and see what we're up against here. See where this flooding's coming from. So this is your HVAC ducting right here. And it also has a drain here that's not plugged. And then this is the drain for here. And I got a broken nothing there from when I did the LS swap. So this is a plastic chute. If you're familiar with your TJ, that goes and comes down to your transmission hump. So any water that 
collects through here through that grate in the center, water will go down there inside. But what happens, not in my case, is that over time you could get a bunch of leaves in there, a bunch of dirt and mud, and then this just keeps filling up full of water and water. So what happens when you get too much water, it comes in the HVAC ducting and goes down below. However, I thought that was going to be the case since it's both sides, but we're going to have to dive in deeper. And I think I already know, and we're going to put a test to it to see. It's a logical guess because right here, water's going to come down, right? Water's going to pool on here. And I'm thinking it's getting down in the channel there and then down inside. So I'm going to roll up this window. And we're going to test that theory. Get some pressure in there. Got this Parfist 1.5 liter handheld sprayer. Works perfect. I use it all the time for inside the garage. And uh, take it out camping with you to put out... Oh, shit. Take it out camping with you to put out fires. I almost sprayed myself. So what I'm going to do is... We're going to focus... See, where's that water going? Where's that water going? Is it going inside? We gotta find out where it's going. Pull the carpet up. I don't see, I don't see any fresh, okay? Guess we try the door seals. Door seals look good. No new water. Okay. You go to the corner of the windshield. I see the seals kind of shrunk there. You can inject a bunch of water in there. Okay, no new moisture on the floor. Kind of grasping at straws here. Gotta look at all options. It obviously drains. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am like 100% baffled now. There's a lot of water and getting in from somewhere and I looked at what I think are all the obvious access points where water could come in and it can't make it reproduce itself. I'm going to have to wait till it starts pouring rain outside again and then come and revisit this because I thought this was just going to be a simple little fix. Come out here, show you guys a video, but nope, nope, shut her down. We need to figure this out, or I need to figure this out. Here's a pro tip if you ever take that off. It's much, it's much easier just to pull the weather stripping ahead so you can drop that piece back in. So it's supposed to rain today, overnight, tomorrow, so maybe we could solve it then. It's been raining.
raining all night. Let's see if we can find some evidence. So far, guys, look, there's any water pooling up on the floor. I was gonna pull this carpet back a bit. Still not really seeing anything, but I'm gonna leave the carpet pulled up and come back in a few hours. To be continued.